a quicker way to get uh, an additional copy of an existing file in. So if you're working on a big assembly, if you've got a fastener where you're going to continue to use or a sub assembly that you would use over it again rather than running through the add component section, you can click and drag essentially and be done. I think it's something everybody should know. It's one of those that just, it's a small thing that saves you a decent chunk of time, so anywhere from 10 or 15 seconds to a couple of minutes every time you use it. And depending on what you're doing, several dozen times a day. I mean, saves me hours on some of our bigger projects. The example of, in this case, so if you're going to add another dart to this assembly like we've got, uh, the way to do that would be able to go find this part. So in this case, this is called arrow copy. So if I'm going to insert that component, you would go up to your uh, command manager ribbon, hit insert component. It automatically launches in to go look for the part we need. In this case, it's this arrow copy. You can hit open. It will come in, and now I have a component, the one I'm looking for. I click to place it in my assembly. Now we can go through the process of uh, try to rotate this around and get us where, where we need to and made it into place. It's one way to do it. A faster way to do it, in my opinion, is to use your control key off the keyboard. All you have to do is hold the control key down. We'll do a click, drag, done. Now I have another one in the assembly right where I needed to. It's even oriented the same way as the part I copied. Uh, so you can do this out of the graphics window, which is really great. If you're looking around, I need another copy of this ring for whatever reason. Hold control, click, drag. You can also do it out of uh, the tree over here on the edge. Well, if I need to take, again, that same ring, for instance. Here's one of them. I will control, click and drag from here. I get the same thing. So anywhere I can find the part inside the SolidWorks environment, I can use control to click and drag and get a copy right off the bat. Some people know it, they love it, they use it all the time. That's a no-brainer. They learned it day one of SolidWorks. If you didn't catch that or you forgot it in the fire hose of great things you learned on day one, uh, it's a great refresher. And if you don't, know about it you should be uh you should be using this one it'll save you a lot of time looking for stuff for something like this it was really straightforward it was easy to find the part was right there it was all in the same folder so it was about 30 seconds if you're gonna imagine a less structured file environment where you've got parts scattered all over a network which folder is it in what project was that thing and how do i go get to it you don't have to do any of that stuff if it's here and you can see it click drag done